This week I'm coming to you from sunny Mobile, Alabama aboard the USNS Burlington. And it's actually the second naval ship to be named Burlington, uh, but the first to be named after our Burlington. And much like the city for which it's named, it's capable of doing some pretty dope humanitarian shit. For example, if there was a natural disaster, this bad boy could quickly deliver substantial aid even if it happened on a tiny island surrounded by water. Big water, ocean water, all it needs is a commander who cares. Uh, the other cool thing about it is that it's way quieter than a fighter jet. Which, man, I wish we could base this thing in Burlington. Alas, this behemoth is staying in the ocean and the F-35 jets are coming to Burlington. But still, on Tuesday, town meeting day, the residents of Burlington will decide whether city council should ask the Air Force to cancel those plans. I know this is a very touchy subject for many, but I can say it's very easy to downplay the impact of jet noise if you've never lived in the flight path, which I unfortunately have. Which is why I propose a ballot item that says if you support the F-35, you should have to live or work directly in the flight path. That way you can more intimately enjoy the sound of freedom. Town Meeting Day is much bigger than just Burlington, of course, which is why this week's Seven Days published a little sampler of some of the ballot items you'll see elsewhere. It also published a story about the lovely little town of Barry, uh, who is going to decide who replaces their embarrassingly quotable mayor, Tom Lazon. And no matter where you're located, uh, if you have not registered to vote, it is not too late. In Vermont, you can register on the day of the election, and you can do so in your city or town clerk's office, you can also do so online following the link below. So I strongly encourage you to get out there and rock that vote. It'll be good practice for November when we vote in the Russian midterms. Finally, I have an award to give out this week. I would like to give the coveted Seriously Award for Bravery in Journalism to assistant music editor Jordan Adams. Jordan recently went to an EDM festival and not only did he live to tell his tale, he went through great lengths to try and blend in. For those of you who don't know, EDM, or electronic dance music, is a lot like music without all the subtlety. Whoa, was that a bass? Did somebody drop some bass? <laughs> <laughs>